Happy Monday, everyone. It's a beautiful day <clears throat> here in Kimberly. And I really hope that the microphone is actually picking up the sound of the trembling aspen. It's like one of my favorite sounds of all time. Today, I want to talk to you about the recent art challenges that have been brought about. And I think many of you have probably done them. I certainly have. And I've done really well with them in the past. And um, I actually, for a, more than a year, about two years in a row, I was able to write almost every day in my um, notebook. And it was fabulous. Just fabulous. I had a routine, a rhythm. It was, I meditated every day. And then I did my writing practice. And it worked out wonderfully for me. And it really, there's something magical about doing your process every day, whether it's uh, writing practice or painting practice, whatever your creative thing happens to be, to do it consistently is very important. And something magic happens when you go back to the easel on a daily basis. It is... Uh, you get into the groove, you get into a rhythm, and then a lot of the obstacles get eliminated just because you're there every day at the same time, same place. It makes it easier to pick up that brush or that paintbrush. The paint flows easier. So there is great value to it. And I know there's been a 100-day painting challenge and then um, one of my art fall of friends did create every day in May and I started off good at the beginning and then things got really really busy in my life I had a lot going on and they were things that I couldn't say no to they were work related um, I was doing events I, I, I had to show up and at the end of the day I was too exhausted to do it and there is something about listening to your body and not pushing yourself too hard. Don't feel guilty if you don't do it. Now, there's something about the consistency that's super important. There is also something about um, showing up and about making our priority. So there is both sides to the story. So I wanted to talk about that because yay, if you can do it, you will get so many reap so many rewards it will be awesome and you will make leaps and bounds in your creative journey if you are able to paint or write every day for an extended period of time but that being said if you're unable to do it like I would I tried my best to do that in May it didn't happen so many things can come along and there's been a lot going on in the world a lot going on personally and all those things come together. So don't feel guilty if you can't do it. Now, June is a new beginning. So you know what? If you don't succeed in the first go round, don't worry about it. There's a new month just around the corner. So pick up that pen or your paintbrush next month. For me, June has been, I've been rocking it in June and I've been doing my writing practice every day. And here's the thing, there are little things that can go a long way to help you get that success that you're after. Number one, for me, I was doing writing practice in May and I had run out of my really nice, I like to do my writing practice in really kind of pretty notebooks, which often have a nice saying on the front. And I liked the coil notebook, I ran out so I was using an, a different pretty, pretty notebook and it had no coil and there was like, a, it wouldn't stay open. It was really awkward to write in and it just wasn't, I wasn't feeling the material. So you know what? I got to the dollar store. I went and I got a cheap coil notebook. It is not pretty, but guess what? I'm able to write, I'm able to flow and you, it's got lines in it and it kind of gives me a bit of joy because I am writing outside the lines. And so that's kind of fun. So 
point one of today, feel no guilt. Point two, here are these ways you can get through to success. Um, have the right materials. And I've gone through many pens. I've, you've got to have the right pen. I have to have the right notebook. If you've got old dried out brushes that are starting to fray at the end, guess what? You're not going to enjoy painting with those brushes. So make sure your studio's kind of a bit tidy. Make sure all of your paints are with accessible. You don't want to start painting and then can't find your ultramarine blue or your white's all dried out or whatever. Start off with proper materials and that are layout, organized and easily accessible and are in good shape. You want the proper materials, proper equipment, and that will go a long way. If you're struggling with your materials, you're going to get frustrated. And so the second thing is I've started saying no to coffee dates. I've had to pull back a little bit from my visiting with my friends. And it's not that I do that every day, but for this month, I'm going to kind of pull in a little bit, become a bit of a hermit. So yeah, as much as possible, we can set life aside somewhat and make it a bit more of a priority. Creativity has to be a priority in your life in order for it to succeed. Now, this is like preparing for a marathon. You cannot just show up to a marathon and expect to run the race and to succeed. You have got to do bits every single day and you have to make that a priority in your life. And that's why these challenges are a good thing. But just do what you can. Say no when you can and put that art number one. And uh, it does help you to get in the groove. It really does. I'm telling you, um, it's helped. The other little tidbit that I have to share with you is that I have been, when I did my painting, my writing challenge with my writing practice, daily writing practice prior, I did it for a year without missing a day. But my health wasn't great, so I wasn't out doing a whole lot of stuff, so it was easier. And I had a habit, a routine of um, having my dinner and a cup of tea, and then I would go in after to my space, my writing space, and I would sit and write after dinner. Well, when I started doing this in May for the 30 day create every day in May, it was not working because the summer weather was here. I had had busy days. By the time I had finished my cup of tea and relaxed for the evening, I was not in the mood. I was exhausted. I had done lots that day. Things, my, my life circumstances had changed. So this time at the beginning of June, I have started to do my writing practice at the beginning of the day. And it made all the difference in the world. So just kind of tune in to where you're at at that particular time in your life. And that could help. I was trying to do the status quo of what I was used to, what my old routine is. But I'm in a different different stage of my life right at the moment and things are going on. Life happens. And in order for me to succeed at this, I need to get at it early in the day rather than at the end of the day. You might be the exact opposite. Find what's going to work the best for you. And no matter what, don't be guilt ridden if you don't make it the first go round. Come back because and try it again because it's going to be so worth it. Now I'm only on, what are we at? Day five of June and I haven't missed a day so far. So yay for that. Um, but I wound up with the best painting day yesterday. Things are just happening, coming together, really flowing really well. So it is helping by doing it every single day and being consistent. That side of my brain, the right side is really firing. So it's worth the effort to really try it. And I want to hear how it is going for you and what's happening in your creative world. So I, I, you know what? Even if it's June the 5th, just create for the next 30 days starting on the 5th 
and see where you're at 30 days from now. I started on June the 1st, so I'll give you an update at the end. And if all goes well, I am going to have a lot more to fill you in on. Tell me what's going on with you. And if you've done a challenge, tell me what you learned from it. Tell me if it helped your creative process. I have a feeling it did. All right. Thank you from Kimberly. Hope you're having a nice day. And I think I'm going to go do a bit more of my writing practice. So good luck with it all. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.